show Dr. Wazi from Dr. Wazi's Perfume Corner. Spring is right here around the corner. It will be here March 20th. That's when the spring season will start where you'll be wearing your spring fragrances, your spring dresses, your sandals, right? Going out for your walk to get ready for that beach body for summer. In the meantime, I want to tell you about fragrances that I'm going to be rocking for spring. I have five fragrances here. Four of them are very beautiful fragrances that I love. The fifth one, not so much because it doesn't last. It's one of the worst fragrances in my collection, but I'm still going to tell you about it because I think it's beautiful. It just doesn't last. If you want to hear and see those five fragrances I'm going to be rocking for spring 2022, stay tuned. I will be back. Dr. Rose here from Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a return subscriber, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. So let's talk about spring fragrances. Five of them that I have in my collection. All five of them are new to my collection. Uh, they are not new fragrances, but they are new to my collection. So therefore they are new to me. <music> The first one is Sedberry from Parfum de Marly. Uh, this one is a cheaper floral fragrance for women. It's marketed for women, but there's no reason why men cannot wear this fragrance for spring. This one was released in 2015, but I know it's been out for a long time, but this is, it's new to my collection. Hey, I'm a late bloomer, right? Sedberry is a very polarizing scent because it's a white floral bomb, guys. If you aren't into white florals, stay away from this fragrance. If you are not into jasmine and tuberose, stay away from it. But if you are, you are going to like it and I think you're going to love it. This is truly beautiful. I'm not going to get into all the notes. I will post them somewhere below here for you or somewhere here, but and they will also be posted in my description box. So you will have access to the notes so you don't have to go and research them for yourself. But the tuberose and the jasmine, they make this fragrance so beautiful. And look at the bottle, you know, it has spring written all over it. I think it's a white bottle or maybe a light pink, I cannot tell. But I think this is for classy women. You can wear this to work during the day, in the evening, to breakfast. If you're going on a trip, put this in your suitcase and spray it all over your body. I would spray this fragrance in my hair, right? And in my neck and my shoulder line. Oh my God. It's beautiful. So again, classy ladies, opening is very beautiful. It's a little spicy. It's a little creamy. It has beautiful flowers in it. And it's also a little fruity. So this is definitely something to play with, you know, for spring and even into early summers, right? This is one of the perfect spring fragrances because I have five of them to show you. <music> My second fragrance for spring, and I'm sure you have seen my latest video, Love at First Sight segment, and this is part of that video. This still remains my Love at First Sight fragrance. This is Fire at Will by Jovoy. This is so darn beautiful, so sexy. It's a vanilla fragrance, right? It has some ember in it. It's beautiful. This one was released in 2021. I am so thrilled to have this fragrance, guys. It's a masterpiece. If you are into vanilla fragrances, amber fragrances, a little sweet floral fragrance to make you feel special, sexy, beautiful, wanted for people to wonder what is this lady wearing? What is this guy wearing today? He smells yummy. This is the fragrance for you. I cannot get enough of this beauty. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to start wearing this in the spring. I've only worn it once since I've had it, but I need to spring to get here so I can enjoy this fragrance. I think I'm going to treat this as one of the top fragrances that I will be wearing for spring. It is absolutely stunning. <music> All right, here's another beauty. Mon Boudoir from the house of Ubigan. I am an Ubigan lover. So Ubigan started making fragrances and I think in the 1700s, 1775. I don't want to tell you the exact year, but I think they started making fragrances a very long time ago. Before you and I were born, before our parents were born. This is a 
timeless amber woody fragrance. Mumbo Duo was launched in 2019 and it's new to my collection. I've only worn it once for spring fragrances to go out at night. This is the one that you want. This is a very mature, timeless fragrance. If you're looking for something sultry, vanilla, and with a really great dry down, I think this is the fragrance for you. The other two that I mentioned, you could wear them during the day, but for spring nights, when you're going out with that special someone, holding hands with that person, wherever you want to go at night, spray this baby on. You will be kissed all over. You will smell classy. You will feel glamorous. This reminds me of something kind of like maybe, I tell you there's all like Lunfeline, but I think this is probably better than Lunfeline. The longevity is very nice. It lasts a very long time on the skin. I want you to just take a shower with a really, some really good shower cream and then put some body oil on your skin. Use a really good body cream. Ubigan has some body creams out there. They don't have one for, for Mon Boudoir. I don't know if they have one for it, but they have some other body creams. Use one of those body creams on your body and spray this perfume and go out with a beautiful dress on or a beautiful, some shorts, beautiful top, your flat sandals or even your high, high heels going out at night. You're gonna feel so sexy with this baby on. Oh, it's a timeless classic, guys. A lot of people do not talk about this, this line, this house. It's because they don't know the value of these fragrances but I know the value of them because I've been wearing them for a very long time. I have, I think, five or six from the Ubigan line and I absolutely love them. They're very floral, so if you're not into floral fragrances, amber, vanilla fragrances, do not buy them, but if you are into these fragrances, I think you need to own Mon Boudoir. Look at the bottle, it's just so stunning. Let me stop. <music> Fragrance number four is Fleur de Peau by Diptyque. Fleur de Peau was launched in 2018. This is a floral hydro hide fragrance for men and women. Fleur de Peau is stunning. And I also have the body cream for Fleur de Peau. And I wore this last night. Guys, I felt like I was on top of the world. So I'm a crazy woman when it comes to fragrances. That's what keeps me happy. This will be one of my most worn fragrances for spring. Did I say signature scent worthy? Absolutely. I will use this as a signature scent fragrance. It's beautiful. When I first spray this in the store, because for... For Christmas, I was in Chicago and then with my sister and she actually gifted this fragrance to me and the body cream and also Sudbury. And I think I've mentioned this to you guys before. This was my nicest gift for Christmas from her and I'm so happy that she gave it to me. This is a very comforting fragrance. If you are into fragrances that are not offensive uh, to other people that you can wear and you feel comfortable going anywhere with that fragrance on, I would say Diptyque Fleur de Peau is the fragrance to use because you will just spray it and forget about it, right? But people will give you, it's a very compliment getter. You will get tons of compliment with this fragrance on, except people will not say, oh, yuck. You know, she's wearing too much fragrance, right? Because it's a light fragrance and it's something that you can wear any time of the year, I think in my opinion, but it's a masterpiece for spring, masterpiece for young ladies, masterpiece for men who wants to wear this to smell very masculine and very it makes you feel very young because of the notes in this fragrance and i think you would love it wear the body cream all over your body your neck the back of your neck your shoulders your arms bosoms areas and then spray the fragrance all over your body you will feel sexy you will feel beautiful there it is <music> The next fragrance is the one that is the most expensive one from the five fragrances I share with you today. It's the one that I like the least. I think this fragrance was basically a waste of money because it doesn't last at all, but it's beautiful. This is Lua from Zerdra, right? It's a floral, fruity uh, fragrance for women. Lua was launched in 2009. I think they really need to take this out of the market because for a Zerdra fragrance, I'm a little disappointed. And for the money that it costs, I'm also disappointed. This thing lasted less than five hours on my skin. It smells really nice. It's a beautiful fragrance, but why am I spending money for a fragrance that's going on? I'm only gonna get four, five hours out of it. This was expensive for what I paid for it. I think it was like almost $200 for a 50 ml perfume that will only last four hours on my skin. And 
to me, it's just not worth the money that I spend for it. But, you know, I told you that my channel is a very honest channel where I will tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the meow. This is the meow for me. It's just not, it's not, I would suggest that you don't spend your money on this, right? Unless you have $200 that you don't want to do anything with. But what am I going to do with it? I'm going to wear it. I think it's wearable. I will keep it in my bag. If I need to spray it again, I may spray my bed sheets with it, wear it to bed. But would I say, you know, if I'm going out to dinner, I'm going to be out for a very long time, would I wear this? No, because right to dinner, I will have no fragrance on, right? So it's not worth me worn this out, right? I, it's gonna stay in my cabinet because I've already opened it, I cannot return it. And I may just give it to, to one of my nieces. You never know, or just give it to a subscriber. Just because it doesn't last on my skin doesn't mean that it will not last on somebody else's skin. But for me, this is not a top fragrance for me in my collection. All right, guys, this is it for me. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you so much for watching this video thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting i really appreciate you don't forget to eat the dessert buy the fragrance wear the fragrance don't buy this fragrance this is lua don't spend your money in lua it's a waste of time and a waste of money buy the shoes wear the shoes more importantly forget about the haters and have a really really good day thank you i will see you next time bye now take care